Now to our city's homeless crisis and a city bursting at the seams with zombie RVs. All those rundown derelict RVs towed from Portland streets are now piling up at the Portland Police Bureau's evidence lot. KGW's Maggie Vespa is live at that lot in industrial northwest Portland. And Maggie, there are about 90 RVs sitting there right now. Yeah, Joe, there are, but the city, since they started towing them here roughly just six or seven months ago, 200, we're told, RVs have come through this lot. Some of these RVs are burned out. Some, as you're seeing, are in pieces. One of them that we saw has piles and piles of stuff that was inside it sitting on the trailer nearby. Biohazard crews had just cleaned that trailer out. Now, keep in mind, this, again, is the Portland Police Bureau's evidence lot, and it's long sat empty, but for the last few years, it housed the set of the TV show Grimm. Managers here say watching it now turn into a stockyard for RVs that a lot of people in Portland have called home has been stunning. But until the Bureau actually um, started getting involved in trying to um, solve it or deal with it and we started towing them, uh, we didn't really realize how big of an issue it was. Yeah, it's like a faucet that's stuck on on. And they, as soon as you think you get caught up, then, you know, yeah, just more keep pouring in. Now, right now, the city is paying, we're told, to recycle two of these per day at the most. They've estimated the cost of that at at least $1,000 each. But Ty Routley, who you just heard from, says you would be surprised at how many people show up to claim these RVs. We shot this video of someone driving off in theirs just a few minutes ago. Now, that in mind, life isn't getting any easier for someone who wants to live in or at very least sell one of these RVs. As you might remember, last night, the city council made it illegal to sell one that has a leaking sewer line and they also said towing and cleaning up after those RVs specifically could cost the city as much as one million dollars this fiscal year. Back to you. Maggie, thanks.